Good afternoon, 1252 or 1253 p.m. on Sunday, May 29, 2016. The first severe thunderstorm watch for Timmins, Cog, and Iroquois Falls of the spring season has been issued. And just before this went to air, this is the watch box here in light yellow. Just before I hit the record button for the segment, this warning box just showed up around the Nulisker, uh, Kirk Lake, Timiskaming Shores region, which supports uh, significant lightning development. If you download the Weatherbug app with the iPhone or iPad and you zoom in on Earlton, you'll see significant exponentially growing lightning activity within this neck of the woods. If you're on Highway 11, I suggest to take cover or to use extreme caution if you're traveling. Guaranteed thing as well, there have been multiple pilot reports between Timmins, North Bay, Sudbury and Toronto who are deviating around thunderstorm cells currently in formation or developing across Northeast Ontario. We can't predict when and where thunderstorms of severe nature will occur. However, our temperature at 1 o'clock is 27 degrees. That beats the Weather Network's uh, forecast high of 26. Environment Canada has matched that high with the 1130 forecast. It is warmer than that. With the humidity and the dew point being as high as 20 degrees, it feels very humid and heavy outside. And that's why even with the strong southwest winds that are developing right now, represented by the above seasonal orange arrows, all these ingredients are mixing together to produce what could be some severe weather and again this warning box right over here is a proof of that while the watch box is still outstanding to show that any portion of northeast Ontario is subject to severe weather at any given time at least between now to the time that the watch box is ended. That's my initial update for the watch. If the warning does show up I will actually just uh, let you know immediately and we'll keep an eye on conditions as they develop throughout the afternoon. Stay tuned.